three losses from three. What's the feeling following that one? Well, I think we're still doing a lot of things right. And I think even this game, the scoreboard might not show, but it, it was a pretty close game as well. And we've just been unlucky in not getting those wickets. We pulled extremely well, like Niels, Samir Connell, pulled extremely well for four overs. We're doing all the things right, just being unlucky, but it's it's one of those weeks that we have to just take all the positives and keep coming back stronger. Yeah, so Connell, you bowled her all four at the beginning, which is traditionally not what one does at the opening of the innings. Um, she's just such a phenomenal bowler. How much do you just have that faith in her? Yeah, and she was the one who was trying to uh, get us the wickets, and it seemed like she was the one closest to get us the wickets. So it was important to keep her on and keep that pressure on. Uh, to, uh, to kind of, you know, create that pressure to the batters and get the wicket. So we just wanted to keep that going. And when she's in the rhythm, we just got to go with her. Yeah, and Haley, a few frustrations for you in the bowling though, is those almost opportunities. What do you think you as a team can do to just get over the line next time? I feel like, firstly, like Watson said, I think looking at the positives is really important. Um, like you said, we've had a pretty unlucky run. Um, bowling in the right areas, doing the right things, probably just not getting the results we wanted, um, but at the same thing, I reckon. At the same time, I reckon like we continue doing those right things. Um, you know, getting the balls in the right areas when we're bowling, uh, playing the right shots when we're batting, and yeah, I reckon it's only a matter of time before we do get over the line. Yeah, and Sins, you obviously play in the USA alongside Yatika Kadali. How good was she tonight? Yeah, she's been extremely good the entire tournament. Right, the two games that she's bowled, she's bowled extremely well, and I know that she's been working really hard. Uh, for this tournament as well, and uh, she's a great prospect to us, and we can already see what she can you know, offer in the main, 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 main field. Yeah, so Haley, what do you think the Warriors can do to change their fortunes between now and your next game? You've got a few days off, so a bit of a regroup, have a rest, and then come back fighting? Yeah, I mean, maybe a little prayer might do well for us. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think at the same time, look, we've got a couple of days to just switch off now. I think. The, the, the camp is still really, really positive. Um, what's most important is everyone is going out there and having fun every time we do get out there, which is really good. Obviously playing with a mixture of internationals and associate players, um, the associate girls are learning a lot. And at the same time, I reckon us internationals, we're learning a lot too. Um, yeah, and just you know continue to improve as much as we possibly can over these next couple of games. Um, and yeah, like I said before, just go out there, have fun, and I think the results will go away eventually. This question is for uh, the captain, Simhi Sriharsha. Uh, you are a mother, of course, and as we all know, uh, Sunday is International Mother's Day, celebrated in many parts of the world. Uh, could you tell me what it means for you personally to be juggling motherhood and cricket? Because mama, you are not the only mother we have. We are lucky to have so many other mother players at STD Fairbridge International Terminal 22. But for you to be participating here as a mother and be in the uh, you know, company of so many others, what does it feel like? Well, it's amazing, and I think it's important my, uh, for my son to also see that he has a working mother and be able to appreciate that she has a passion that she's following, and hopefully he ha he builds that passion and he's able to follow it in all his life as well. That that is what I want him to see, and I think that's what uh, both me and my husband we're very strong, uh, strongly opinionated on that. That um, he does definitely has to see that why I'm doing this. It's for the passion, for the love of the game. So um, he's definitely with me. I we both of us wear this thread. Um, every every tournament we go, um, we put this thread on each other, and he's always with me. So this is something that I carry very closely to me, um, and I know he's safe when this is on me. And have the mothers at STG and PI22 been interacting a lot among themselves, exchanging tips on how to raise a kid or some such? Well, actually, honestly, when I come off tour, I try to keep my motherhood a little bit, uh, you know, aside. Uh, it's important that I try and focus on the game, but he's always there with me. Um, I, anybody talking to me, I could definitely talk about uh, how, how we can juggle everything together. It comes pretty naturally as mothers to actually um, do this. I don't think I've done anything different than all of your mothers, if I should say. They've all juggled everything. Uh, and it's just that I'm playing cricket and I have this exposure to talk about, but I'm sure there are many mothers who are doing many other things that I'm, I'm so gra I mean, uh, grateful for the opportunity and also the support system that I have. Some others do not get this, but they're still able to do everything and we don't appreciate what others do.